Hi everyone, this is John from Cardio Kinetics. In this series, I'll be taking you through a full body workout using none other than resistance bands. Um, again, these are very cheap, they're very durable, they're very versatile. You can find these online, you can get them on Amazon. Um, they're a great piece of equipment to have, especially if you're looking uh, to kind of add to your home gym. Um, I'm going to be showing you four different exercises today that you can do. Uh, because these exercises are a little bit more unconventional, I'll actually be taking you through the instructions in each video. So I hope you enjoy. All right, now I'm going to show you how to perform a deadlift with the resistance band. Um, deadlift's one of my favorite exercises. We do it all the time in my classes. I love it because it works just about every muscle in your body. Uh, and today I'm going to show you a really, really cool way to replicate a deadlift using a resistance band. Um, so I'm going to show you this exercise from the front and from the side so you get a good idea how to perform it. First thing we're going to do, we're going to step into the band with both feet. I want you to go wide, so a little bit outside your hips. Uh, and before you start, make sure there's just a little bit of tension in the bottom portion of the band. All right, now, with the top portion, we're going to lift that up, and we're going to wrap it around our shoulders. Okay, from here, we're going to get into our deadlift position. So we're going to push our hips back, knees out, and we're going to reach down and we're going to grab the bottom portion of the band with our hands. From here, we're ready to start the exercise. Back stays flat. We're going to push our feet through the floor, bring your hips forward to meet the band, and then reverse it. Okay, I'm going to show you now from the side. All right, so same thing. Feet stay wide. Top band goes around the neck. Okay. Hips go back, back stays flat, grab the bottom portion of the band, stand up nice and tall so you're in a straight line, and then reverse nice and slow. Okay, so be careful getting in and out of that exercise, but give it a try because it is a really great way to replicate the deadlift using none other than just a band. All right, this exercise is called a side plank with a bandit row. Um, so this is a more challenging variation of the side plank. Uh, so just make sure that uh, before jumping right into this, make sure you're proficient with just the regular side plank. It's a perfectly good exercise by itself. Uh, I would say try to work up to at least 30 seconds of side planks uh, with good form before you try this variation because it is much more challenging. All right. Uh, so what we're going to be doing, we have our band set up. Uh, in a low position. So I want to attach it to a, a sturdy object only about a foot or so off the floor. All right, I'm going to grab the band with my top hand, all right, before I get started. Uh, and then I'm just going to get to my side plank position. So forearm, inside arm, on the floor, elbow stacked right underneath my shoulders, feet are stacked on top of one another. I'm going to lift my hips all the way up, maintain a good side plank position. All right, so my hips are not shooting back, I'm not rolled forward, all right? I'm maintaining a good posture, like I'm getting shot out of a cannon. And then with the band, I'm just gonna pull and hold the band into my hip. I'm just gonna hold this position, all right, for an extended amount of time, whatever that might be. All right, make sure you do both sides, uh, and good luck with that one. Like I said, it is much more challenging. Okay, this exercise is called a face pull. Uh, I'm a big fan of this exercise um, because it works our upper back, all the muscles that help with our posture. All right, a lot of times from sitting in front of a computer all day, we develop this rounded, hunched over posture. So this exercise is going to work all those muscles and help improve our posture just a little bit. Um, so for this, you're gonna need to have your band attached around a nice sturdy object. You can actually experiment with the height of the band. You can try it with the band uh, towards the floor. You can try it higher up. You're gonna work the same muscles, just in tiny different spots, um, but the, the bulk of the exercise will stay the same. Um, so all we're gonna do, we're gonna step back so there's some tension in the band, all right? Pull the band apart, and all we're gonna do, we're gonna flare our elbows up towards the ceiling and pull the band in towards our nose. We're gonna pause for a second and then reach right back into where we started. So again, elbows up to the ceiling, pull the band into our nose, that's why it's called a face pull, and then right back in. All right, this exercise is called a vertical paloff press. So this exercise does two things. It's great for our shoulders and pressing muscles. It's also a great ab exercise. Um, so what you're gonna need to do, you're gonna have to attach the band uh, against a nice sturdy object. 
you don't have something sturdy that you can attach it to, you can always ask a friend or family member to hold one end as you're going through the exercise. Uh, from here, you're actually going to step inside the band. All right, next, we're gonna walk ourselves forward, not too much. We're gonna have a slight forward lean, and all we're gonna do from here is press the band straight up until our arms are in line with our ears, and then come back down nice and slow. Most important thing as we're going through this exercise, we're not allowing the band to pull us back into extension. So we wanna avoid this position. All right, so keep your abs as tight as possible and just press straight up. 